Hello and welcome to this praise tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to manage a quantification period from opening a period to configuring the settings and assigning quantifiers. Let's begin. First of all, let us log into the dashboard. Once logged in, click on the period tab on the left hand panel. Please note that the admin role is required to be able to manage this tab. So what is quantification? Quantification is the process of assigning numerical scores to praise items. When all praise has been quantified, we can use the praise scores to produce metrics such as leaderboards. We can also use the praise score as the base for token rewards. Quantification is performed by select individuals from the community called quantifiers. A period denotes the number of days or weeks of praise data to be quantified. To open a period, click on this pink button that says Create Period. So, let's give this period a name and an end date. We always recommend a name that shows the time frame of data to be quantified. For instance, a one-month period would be named July 8th to August 8th, 2022. In this case, our end date will be August 8th. Notice we do not have a start date. That's because the system automatically begins counting from the last end date. When you set this up, go ahead and hit create period. Our period is now open. Let's go ahead and open that up. The next step would be to configure the quantification settings for this period. And you can do that in the settings tab found in this small section. Note that any changes made here will only affect this particular period. The default settings can be configured in the main settings tab over here on the left hand panel. Let's go over the configuration options here. The quantifier per praise denotes how many quantifiers should score each praise item. Choosing three quantifiers would mean that the total score will be an average of all three scores. Letting more than one quantifier score each praise is an important guard against personal bias. The more quantifiers scoring each praise, the better quality the average score will have. Praise per quantifier determines how many praise items should be assigned to each quantifier. 100 to 150 praise is roughly equivalent to 30 minutes of quantification work. Checking the use pseudonyms box would replace the real names of praise receivers and givers with pseudonyms. You could choose this if you do not want quantifiers to tell who is on the receiving or giving end of the praise. The duplicate praise quantification percentage denotes the percentage of the original praise score that should be given to duplicate. When the same contribution is praised more than once by different people within the same period, this is referred to as duplicate praise. Duplicates can be assigned a value ranging from 0 to 100%. The quantification values options are the values that will be used for quantification. By default, we use the Fibonacci sequence, a series of values that increase exponentially from 1 to 144. This allows the fair scoring of contributions by really distinguishing smaller contributions from bigger ones, with 1 representing the smallest contribution and 144 representing the greatest contribution. This sequence can be modified by replacing the numbers separated by commas. Quantifiers are normally randomly assigned by an algorithm, taking into account the above settings. For instance, changing quantifier per praise from 1 to 2 means double the number of quantifiers will be needed. In scenarios where you have only a few quantifiers to work with, the algorithm might not be able to successfully assign quantifiers based on the given settings. In that case, checking assign praise evenly among quantifiers will bypass the algorithm and assign praise evenly to all quantifiers. Now that the settings has been configured, the next step is to assign quantifiers. Assigning quantifiers means giving selected users the role of quantifiers. Quantifiers are the people responsible for scoring each praise data. To assign quantifiers, let's head over to the Users tab on the left-hand panel. The Users section shows all activated praise users in the community. And to assign the quantifier role, simply search for the user's Discord handle here. Click on their usernames and 
check the quantifier box. Repeat the same for as many quantifiers as needed in the quantifier pool. Bear in mind that the least number of quantifiers should be equal to what was set in the quantifier per praise parameter. Now let's head back to the open period to assign quantifiers. Go ahead and click on assign quantifiers and that's it. The period is now open and assigned quantifiers can get to work. In the event that a quantifier is unable to quantify their batch of praise, there is an option that allows for replacement. Go over to the quantifier tab. As you can see, there is an icon that appears when I hover over each quantifier. To replace any quantifier, click on the icon and select the replacements from the quantifier pool. Ensure that this person has the quantifier role, otherwise they will not appear on this list. Because a closed period cannot be reopened from the front end, it is recommended to ensure that all quantification is complete and that the results have been reviewed and approved using the community set protocols. Closing a period will also ensure that there are no further score modifications by quantifiers. To close a period, simply click on the close period button. That's all for this video. We hope you are now able to manage quantifications and keep praise running in your community.